हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई सी अकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड द प्रॉब्लम्स ऑन इनवर्स जेड ट्रांसफॉर्म यूजिंग पावर सीरीज एक्सपेंशन लेट अस कंसीडर द फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम वेयर एक्स ऑफ जेड इज गिवन एज जेड स्क्वायर इनटू वन माइनस वन बाई टू जेड इनवर्स इनटू वन माइनस जेड इनवर्स इनटू वन माइनस जेड इनवर्स सो इन द फर्स्ट स्टेप वी नीड टू मल्टीप्लाई फर्स्ट टू टर्म्स एंड सेकेंड टू टर्म्स सो वील गेट एक्स ऑफ जेड एज If you multiply first two terms, we will get z square minus one by two z. If you multiply second two terms, we will get one minus z square. So if you multiply these two terms, we will get x of z is equal to z square minus one by two z minus one plus one by two z inverse. If we take inverse z transform of above equation, we can write this as x of n is equal to z square we can write it as delta of n plus 2 minus 1 by 2 z we can write it as delta of n plus 1 minus 1 we don't have any z terms here with minus 1 that's why we can write that as delta of n plus 1 by 2 z inverse we can write it as delta of n plus 1 now we can write the values directly so this term is for n is equal to minus 2 This term is for n is equal to minus one. This term is for n is equal to zero, and this term is for n is equal to plus one. So we can write x of n is equal to. We are having one for n is equal to minus two. We are having minus one by two for n is equal to minus one, and we are having minus one for n is equal to zero. So which is at the origin and we are having 1 by 2 for n is equal to 1 so this is x of n for the given x of z second problem is x of z is equal to summation of k is equal to 5 to 10 1 by k z to the power of minus k so to solve this problem we need to put different values of k from 5 to 10 in this equation and we need to write x of z therefore we can write x of z is equal to if we put k is equal to 5 we'll get 1 by 5 z to the power of minus 5 plus if we put k is equal to 6 we'll get 1 by 6 z to the power of minus 6 for k is equal to 7 we'll get 1 by 7 z to the power of minus 7 for k is equal to 8 we'll get 1 by 8 z to the power of minus 8 for k is equal to 9 we'll get 1 by 9 z to the power of minus 9 for k is equal to 10 we'll get 1 by 10 z to the power of minus 10 now if we take inverse z transform on both side we'll get x of n is equal to 1 by 5 z to the power of minus 5 we can write it as delta of n minus 5 plus 1 by 6 delta of n minus 6 plus 1 by 7 delta of n minus 7 plus 1 by 8 delta of n minus 8 plus 1 by 9 delta of n minus 9 plus 1 by 10 delta of n minus 10 now this entire sequence we can write in terms of summation as x of n is equal to summation of k is equal to 5 to 10 1 by k delta of n minus k so this is x of n for the given problem next problem is x of z is equal to cos 2z with roc magnitude of z less than infinity since roc is less than infinity the corresponding x of n is a left sided sequence so x of n is a left sided sequence because roc is less than infinity we know that cos theta can be given as 1 minus theta square divided by 2 factorial plus theta to the power of 4 
divided by 4 factorial minus theta to the power of 6 divided by 6 factorial plus and so on. Therefore, this can be written as cos theta is equal to summation of k is equal to 0 to infinity minus 1 to the power of k theta to the power of 2k divided by 2k factorial. Therefore, using this analysis, we can write this sequence as x of z is equal to cos 2z. We can write this as summation of k is equal to 0 to infinity minus 1 to the power of k into 2z whole to the power of 2k divided by 2k factorial. So, in place of theta, we have written 2z. So, we can write this equation as summation of k is equal to 0 to infinity minus 1 to the power of k. So, the numerator term, we can write it as 2 to the power of 2k into z to the power of 2k divided by 2k factorial. Since 2 to the power of 2k, we can write it as 4 to the power of k. This 4 to the power of k, we can multiply with this minus 1 to the power of k. So, we will get summation of k is equal to 0 to infinity minus 4 to the power of k into z to the power of 2k divided by 2k factorial. Therefore, if we take inverse z transform, therefore we can write for x of z, we can write it as x of n that can be written as summation of k is equal to 0 to infinity minus 4 to the power of k. So, we can take this 2k factorial as it is. So, we will write that as divided by 2k factorial. This z to the power of 2k term, we can write it as delta of n plus 2k. So, this is x of n for the given x of z. This is about problems on inverse z transform using power series method. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you. <laughs>